Alright guys, welcome back to more Miskatonic. And uh, it looks like we're in the Dunwich Portal facility is what it says. Continuing on this very interesting story. I guess uh, right out the bat we'll just go ahead and speak to Lizzie. And we've got some kind of other entity over here. But let's go ahead and speak to Lizzie anyways. So this is where you live, Lizzie. What's well, all the pipes and stuff? Helps channel for the portals the universe want. Baby sisters build pipes. Energy goes down. Brother Billy. Brother Billy conjures the portal. University uses the portal. I didn't know yet you had a brother. Yish. Brother Billy uh, builds the portals. Big Sister Lizzie manages the pipes. It is what Yogg Sagoth calls delegation of duties. Ah, uh, there's a baby. There's my baby sisters. My baby sisters. Come say hello. Oh my. <laughs> Who this? This is friend Charlotte. She's here to supervise human activities. Um, yep. Hi. Humans doesn't need supervision. Humans keep going into portals. Humans keep coming, not coming, keep not coming out. Humans doesn't need supervision. Humans need brains. Tell me about it. So I'm going to go to the portal, make sure everything's going to plan, whatever the, whatever the heck that means, whatever the heck the plan is. Okay, we need to go see Big, we need to go see Brother Billy once human preparations are made. Let's go. Alright, the sounds of little, oof man, it's up there, it's up there. So I'm just going to turn down a little bit. Alright. There we go. Okay, so... We're somewhere now. And, uh... Description is sometimes humans do experiments because humans have to learn stuff. Not just listen to Yog sagoth Let them do their experiments. Just don't ask what they're doing. Most of the time, they don't know either. Oh. Okay, we've got possibly two doors here and our little group, so let's just go ahead and see what they all have to say. Ben Carter says, this place has given me the serious heebies. Feels like I'm being watched by the walls themselves. You are. For every Dunwitcher out there, there's a hundred behind the walls building more of these damn pipes. And that's all they do. Besides prey to the Yog Sagoth, they don't sleep, they don't eat, they just build pipes down in the basement and tune into the radio Yog. Is that true, Lizzie? I thought they were just bigger versions of you. They got more meat bits, but I am and Brother Billy traded our meat bits for brain bits. Shish, why we're clever, because we gotta do all the things. Me and Brother Billy are what humans call avatars of Yog Sagoth. Representatives of representatives of his will in a uh, given dimension. But me and Brother Billy like to be cheeky cheeky and not do what we're told. It's a good idea to be cheeky cheeky to a transdimensional god of knowledge. Ish, especially since he came do nothing, since the people he would send to punish folks are the people being cheeky cheeky. Hmm. You're probably the most adorable, mind shattering cosmic abomination in the universe. I agree. <laughs> she is adorable. Okay, from Grat, I can actually somewhat pronounce that one, guys. Uh, one slice of white bread and extra cheddar. This is uh, 
Upper, this is Super Lizzie's special. It's for the best sisters with sticky sticky finger tits. Like Big Sister makes for extra scrumptious. <laughs> okay. All right. I kind of want to click click on them. If I click on them, can I speak to them? Oh my, I can. Never mind, I can't. Oh yes, I can. Maybe. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Okay. We've got Lizzie here. Tubes, pipes, chutes, and ducts. No beds, bathrooms, kitchens. You humans really ain't comfortable, comfort, comfortable in this universe, are ye? Huh? <laughs> I guess not. My, this place is weird, heavenly. All right. Let's see what Amelia's got to say. Wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> Why not? What's in there? It's where Dunwitchers congregate to communicate with Yogg Saga, but their psychic transmissions resonate so fiercely that the humans can hear Yogg Saga's message too. He sent a prospecting team in there. We we sent a prospecting team in there. When the university first took control of Dunwich, 20 fellows, but only one came out sane enough to write a report. What did it say? The galaxy is lush and teeming, yet empathy is purely human. Then he went home and shot his wife and kids. Whoa. Well, shit. Not my... <laughs> not... Now I'm intrigued. Charlotte. All right, right. I'll, I'll come back on my week off. <laughs> of course, she's intrigued. Of course. There, yeah, we've got another location here. This one time, before little sisters got here, uh, Sagath told me, told big sister Lizzie about the dimension that Dunwiches can go to once they melt. Can go to once they melted. I was super sad when I found out he was super lying. Hmm. All right. Let's see what these guys have to say. This is this place is pretty fascinating, right? It's amazing what an interdimensional slave race can do with a concrete facility and a little elbow grease. What do they mean when they say that uh, pipes channel energy? Sandwiches can articulate. What it, articulate what it is, and the top brass won't tell us. Huh, Lizzie, any ideas? I don't know. Maybe sisters know to how to build. I just tell them when. Maybe brother Billy knows. Seems like conspiracies just pile up on top of each other around here. Yeah, add one more to the what the freak checklist. Right? Okay. We're further in. So these days, whenever Yogg Sagoth tells Big Sister Lizzie to do something, Big Sister Lizzie tries my super hardest to the opposite. Hmm. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Why doesn't this Mistonic reverse. Why doesn't the Mistonic reverse engineer this technology? We could build our own portals right on campus. How exactly would you go about reverse engineering these fleshy Eldred pipes? Only the Dunwiches can see any sense in all of this. And besides, Dunwiches don't get muta mutated by these portals, or at least not. Not that we can see. Better to let them build them for us. Is that true, Lizzie? You guys don't get mutated? Nope. We ain't got the same mush as you humans. You ain't you ain't got no clumpers, no brow chunks. Grow chunks, that's that's what that says. No hinges, no yog toppers, no wrigglers, no brain bits. 
that's why Dunwiches are so scary to humans, because humans ain't got the same mush. We have plenty of brain bits. Thank you very much. Wouldn't be solving all these cult mysteries if I didn't. Hmm. I don't know if we've actually solved anything yet. But, uh, um. All right, we may possibly. Oh, excuse me. We may possibly be able to interact with this giant <coughs> space here. Let's see what Lizzie has to say. Ready to go see twin brother Billy? Ah, uh, sure, I guess. Okay, this way. Oh my. There he is, Charlotte. This is twin brother Billy. Hi, brother. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. Okay. How the frig is this twins? Brother, this is my friend Charlotte. She's one of the humans that you make portals for. Um, what's up? <laughs> Anguish. Ah, oh, someone's got grumpy baby syndrome. Lament. I don't. I don't think this is right. What's the matter? Is Billy... Yeah, but... Did he always look like that? He sounds like in a lot of pain. Torment. Wait a minute. I feel like I've seen this before. Whoa. What's happening? Okay. That's not Billy. That's a giant bat of primordial ooze. They're siphoning it out of the freaking air. Lizzie, step back. I'm putting a stop to this goofy bullshit. How exactly? Oh wow, that is a lot of ooze. Oi. Oh, freak. Freaking ouchy boo boo bastards. That <laughs> hurt. Oh no. Uh, there's a hand. There's Dunwitcher in here. We gotta save him. With you in spirit, Lizzie. Uh, her eyes do something. You gotta, you know, nurse the shredded remnant remnants of my eyeballs, which are like 40% of my head. Ouch. Cheering you on, Lizzie. Lizzie? No. Oh. Huh. Okay. So now I'm seeing double. And also my left eye has x-ray vision because left Lizzie has no bomber jacket. Or pigtails, so I guess there's an X pigtail vision. This is the most sensible explanation. Shala, this is twin brother Billy. I guess he was trapped in the human marmalade till you let him out. Billy, this is Fred Charlotte. Hello, thanks for saving me. Um, no problem. So, why were you in there? Did you know about this, Lizzie? I don't know. He's always looked like that. We've worked for the university since we were born. Me, they were performing tests on... See see how uh, stun witches talk to Yogg, Brother Billy. I guess they wanted portals from? They stuck me in the goo right after I was born. After I said I didn't want to open portals to Yogg Sargoth, they said they'd let me out after I opened a good portal. Sorta excruciating. But I never once did open a good portal to Yogg. Plenty of bad portals through bad in-betweens to try and scare off the university, but never a good one. Twin Brother Billy is brave. Brother Billy. Why not just open portal to Yogg-Sagoth and have him let you out? He's kind of a... <laughs> He's kind of a douche. Yish. We like this dimension. Yogg would ruin it. And why would the university want to bring him here in the first place? 
shit is dumb. Maybe they want to get all of that Yogg knowledge. He does know everything. Even after that team of prospectors were all crazy go nuts after hearing this message. They, they do a lot of stuff after folks go all crazy, go nuts. That's why they got these research stations in Kadeth and Leng. Why? Well, in my humble opinion, this is all a big old barrel of bullshit. It's one thing to put yourself in danger or whatever for the sake of learning new stuff about evil stuff, but more and more the university forcing innocent folks into it, which is just as evil as evil as stuff. And using evil to combat evil is basically the dumbest thing in the universe. Evil? Evil. Yeah, evil. And I want answers. I gotta get back to the university and crack some skulls until I get an explanation for this crap. I can make portals to send you back to the university if you want. No more portals. At least I, I can figure this out. At least till I can figure this out. Lizzie, all of the university. Lizzie, get all of the university staff out of here. Make, make some excuse for Billy being sick or something. Billy, make sure you get seen by any human. Make sure you don't get seen by any humans. I'm heading back to the university. That, for some reason, was the final straw for the little witch girl to torture an innocent little reality. Ripping cosmic abomination, we just too evil. Little witch girl's notions that everyone was inherently good were shot out of a cannon of dumb na na naivety. At this point in the story, Eddie and me were drinking delicious cocktails on the beach out of a big coconut. Lessons here is that sometimes it's easier to avoid the apocalypse, just hide at the beach. So, to recap, primordial ooze is the ingredient everything on Earth is made of and is what's causing the mutagenic atmosphere in New England. It's what they were sucking out of people's brains in New Orleans, and it's what Lizzie's brother Billy was imprisoned in at Dunwich. And his little witch girl has been manipulating with her magic eyes all this time. But the story clearly has a happy ending. The little witch girl is alive, standing right beside me, so it must be a happy ending. Well, you have to be alive to ruin everything, which is what the story's about, so hush, so hush yourself. So the little witch girl returned to the university out for blood. But what she didn't realize was that she was planning, what she didn't realize is what she was planning right into the hands of the bad guys. And if there's one thing intelligent, university educated bad guys are good at, mental trauma. One shudders to think what they did to the little, little witch girl. It was more enjoyable than being baptized in bleach at a six foot tall cockney gorilla. At least they were, at least let me wear a straight jacket. So try, try not to think or shudder about what I'm going to tell you happened to the little witch girl. Because you're shuddered, because you'll shudder to think too, and all the shuddering will admit a vibration frequency perfectly attuned to the desecration of concrete. And I'm not getting my coat dirty digging a bunch of audience members out of the subsequent rubble. Wish I had rubble. Getting me to run around, helping them do all of this evil shit. Whoop, whoop some ass. That's what I'm going to do. Where the, where the heck is thirst? What's up, Charlotte? Ain't like uh, you to be stomping, stomping and around screaming. Okay, where should I begin? University puts Lizzie 
brother into a giant vat of primordial ooze to torture him into opening portals for him, convincing the other Dunwitchers into uh, building a faculty dedicated to siphoning ooze out of the frickin' air, which by the way is the... which by the way is in the air that thanks to a storage screw up on their part and rather than ex, ex, uh, evacuate New England they let people get mutated in order to study them and on top of all of that and to top all of that off they've got a guy they've got guys in New Orleans kidnapping people and stealing ooze out of their brains with a giant goofy ass wrench so I'm gonna go punch I'm gonna go punch a face Char, just calm yourself down a touch. Come sit, come sit down, and I'll explain before you get yourself shot. F that. I want some answers. Hence the punchy face. Charlotte, you got you got arms like noodles, and you'll never throw a punch in your life. I'll give you some answers if you just come with me a second. Hmm. Seems like a trap. Seems like a trap. Fine, fine. Lead the way. Look, I hate this stuff as much as you do. That's why I came to work for him. Because I figured I'd change it from the inside. Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb on my part, I guess. These guys see witchcraft as amateur hour compared to their cold science. But when I saw what they were doing with primordial ooze, Charlotte, that stuff is amazing. Like, second renaissance for humanity, amazing. And that's why I put a good word in for you, because it was the only explanation for your eyes. Whenever you make someone forget something, or make them develop an eye twitch, or blow up a cat, you're messing with the ooze in their heads. I know there's no excuse for the mystonic what the Mistonic's done, but they're on the brink of something incredible, and you could be the key to all of that. Think about it. Rather than helping a few people around town, you could help all of humanity. Isn't that what our coal is all about? Helping people? Well... Well, don't say it all at once. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> Tens of thousands of people across New England, rum, rummen, mutated, and you call them helping people? Kidnapping people and stealing brains, rummen, and who the hell knows what else? That ain't, that ain't some hard sacrifice bullshit, that's straight up evil. Humans are supposed to be uh, the good guys. There's enough monsters out there already. What the freak are you talking about? Charlotte, please. It's for the greater good. There it is. The greater good. Raman, I'm going to find Thirst, and I'm going to stick my entire foot up his ass until he shuts this place down. Hopefully you'll come to your senses before I have to shove my other foot up yours. Oh my. So we have a plot twist. Year. Well, Switch Plot Twist has kind of been excelling to this point, guys. I, I'm going to end it here. He hello. Oh, hello, Charlotte. What can I do for you? All right, so there's Bob. We're going to end it right here, guys, because I do not know what's getting ready to happen. And I think it's... Yeah, we might be in Final Countdown mode as far as the story goes here, guys. So, hopefully you're enjoying it. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Can't wait to see how that how it all works out and ends and ends up. Hopefully Charlotte makes it out okay. And I would have to say my other two favorites, Annie and Lizzie. Hopefully they make it out okay, but we will see soon enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, we'll see you later.